What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking the first official series that I'm watching anyway of 2020, and that is Netflix's Messiah. I need you in the comments down below. Did this series look intriguing to you, and did it deliver? So when a CIA officer investigates a man attracting international attention and followers through the acts of public disruption, she embarks on a global high-stakes mission to uncover whether he is a divine entity or a deceptive con artist. And my goal here is to make this review as impartial as possible. I'm going to focus on the series, the execution, and whether or not it did a good job at that. I'm not going to focus as much on the controversy surrounding the trailer that dropped on Netflix. And there, there is a lot to talk about in that regard. And that in itself did have me a tad bit nervous going into the show because it's like, oh, is this going to be too much of one thing or is it going to not execute on its premise because its premise is interesting enough from a filmmaking perspective but it comes down to whether or not they can capture what they're going for and display it well on screen without being overwhelming and overdoing it and in my opinion just to get into this review I thought Messiah did a really good job of captivating its audience without having to cram a bunch of action on screen so it is a very slow paced slow moving show at times it focuses way more on the dialogue than what you would expect going in and I actually didn't know the premise or really anything about the show. I saw a snippet of the trailer, but I walked into this show completely blind, not really knowing anything about the show, and I honestly believe that enhanced my experience just because every twist and turn and every character interaction caught me off guard in such a way, and the way that this story is told, it's not just focusing on this one event. Obviously, you have Michelle Monaghan's character, and she, it feels like she's going to be the focus going in, even though she's just one of many stories that are being told Told, and her path interacts, crosses ways with this guy, this mysterious man who no one really knows anything about. It feels like he came out of nowhere. One thing I can say here is that the performances are all magnificent and captivating. Any issues I have with this show, it does not impede on the fact that their performances did exactly what they needed to do. And like I said, the storyline, it does kind of flip-flop from here to there, and we're telling multiple stories at once. And just me telling you that sounds like, well, Austin, that, that's not a story. It sounds sloppy and messy but it's presented in such a way to where it is not sloppy. It is not messy. And I think the biggest thing going in is everyone is going to want answers about this character uh, of Al Masai, who is this mysterious figure, this mysterious being. Miracles, miracles are happening all around him, everywhere he goes, he ends up in a place that's hundreds and thousands of miles away from a different place that he was just in, and people are wondering, and they're trying to figure out, how did this happen? How did this happen? And that is part of the intrigue and the mystery of a series like this, and you're sitting back wondering, okay, is this guy really who he says he is, or is he like the world's best con artist? And I think that's the intrigue, and because of that, people are going to want answers by the end of the show. And I'm here to tell you this, there are not 100% definitive answers about certain character traits and how we end this particular storyline, but we get pretty much everything we need. I was satisfied and happy with where this story ended up. It is one that I don't think is going to get everyone on board by the time it ends, because when you're watching a 10-episode series, you want some sort of payoff at the end of the day. I believe we get that, but I do feel like some people uh, may not be completely satisfied. But with this, it's not as much about the destination. It's more about the journey and just... um showcasing the world through an interesting lens and perspective. And it really is, how would we handle a being like this in today's time with cell phones and technology and social media? And it does a good job, and I was afraid it wasn't going to do this going into the show, but it does a good job of showing how the public would respond and react to certain events happening, and there's one event in particular within the first few episodes uh, where everyone is gathered around him. They all have their cell phones out, and they're recording this event happen, and someone ends up getting shot. A miracle, quote-unquote, happens, and everyone is just standing there recording with their phones, and I'm sitting back going, this is an interesting perspective. This is a, a fascinating look at how today's time would react to something like this, whether he is who he says he is or not, and that is slowly figured out as we progress through the show, and that's the importance of Michelle Monaghan's character, 
But that aspect, I think, intrigued me even more so than all of these storylines going on. So we get the storylines of multiple people involved here. We have a guy who is involved at the beginning, at the forefront of everything happening overseas. And then we have Michelle Monaghan's character, uh, her interactions with this man, this almost unknown entity. They are very interesting because obviously there's going to be some dialogue within there. And she's like, oh. How did he know? Is he who he says he is? And then you have the perspective from a pastor in Texas and something that happens with his daughter. Uh, People that start to defend this man, this being, because of all of these crazy, almost impossible things happening. So all of those storylines, those perspectives were very intriguing and interesting. And if you're looking at this show through a filmmaking lens and you see the balance of how they ended up capturing all of these things... And just the fact that even though the show has a slow pace to it, it's still intriguing and the mystery here is present when it needs to be. But when you see things happen, you're like, wow. But then you start getting answers for it from the other side. Well, maybe he actually did this and there are people involved. And that's kind of the way he is working his way through these situations. You start to agree with the other side. You're like, well, maybe he's not who he says he is. Then that's exactly what you want a show like this to do. Messiah is a very well-made show. The acting is really good. The directing is solid. There are a few moments in there where I'm just like, I don't know if I'm buying the way that that character is reacting to, whether it's Al Masai doing something crazy, or there is a moment with a tornado, and I'm not going to spoil which episode that's in, or what exactly happens, where it's, it's kind of following two guys in a truck, and one guy, man, he is given the performance of a lifetime. He's freaking out, panicking, but the guy driving is like, oh no, he's a tornado. He doesn't sound like that. Just a few moments that came across like that. And like I said, it's not going to be something that captivates everyone. And for those going in afraid that it's going to be overly offensive or overly like, you have to believe this, you have to believe in basically another coming of Christ, I think that's kind of the point of what this show is going for. Uh, I did not necessarily feel that coming at it from a religious perspective. I'm trying to keep that part of my brain out of it just because I want to judge the show as the show. And I found the show, the filmmaking, and the acting to really all be intriguing. And at the end of the day, I think Messiah uh, did a really good job of doing what it set out to do, and that is showcasing this mystery, uh, keeping you on both sides of the fence when the story calls for it, but having you believe what the show wants you to believe when it wants you to believe it, if that makes sense. So, as always, every single weekend, we're reviewing every brand new Netflix show and movie on this channel. Messiah was the first show of 2020. Ghost Stories was the first movie. You can check out how I felt about that, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. You will definitely get more and i appreciate you guys for supporting this channel i'm going a solid 75 percent for messiah did exactly what it intended to do made you feel like you were on both sides of the fence when you had to man that's what good storytelling does and i think messiah did a good job at that so like i said leave your comments down below did messiah captivate you like it intended is it your favorite netflix show of the year probably thank you guys so much for watching i'll be back later on today with the grudge. So let's go and watch that. I'll see you soon.